Good morning, guys, and welcome to another pretty beautiful day for a beach clean. In fact, it might actually be a sort of double-edged sword because I had to walk down a bit just to record an introduction for the simple reason that beautiful day, summertime, people are here swarming the beach. And that's also a double-edged sword because it means that there's trash left behind, of course. If you're joining me today, you probably are expecting that. Um, and yeah, this beach that I'm at, I think is gonna be an interesting one because I know that they do regular beach cleanups here. There's a beach bar, a lot of people. I tried to come yesterday during the weekday, I don't know, like noon, and it was just packed, which is you know cool to see. And it's cool to see that in between uh, the busy times, people are hosting beach cleanup events, but by the same token, there's a lot of stuff that gets still overlooked or left behind, I think. And uh, so today I wanted to focus on a beach clean challenge of trying to see how many bottle caps I can pick up in one hour on this, uh, I don't know, maybe like half a mile, mile stretch of beach I'm gonna hike. So I'm gonna walk down for about an hour, see how many bottle caps I can get. Again, why bottle caps? Well, because I know from experience, they're tiny enough and they blend in well enough where even if you're doing or hosting or attending regular beach cleanup events, they they tend to get overlooked sometimes. Same thing with cigarette butts, which I think I did last week as a challenge. I'll probably be back here to do a cigarette butt beach clean challenge as well. And again, if it's a well-trafficked beach, you're gonna find a lot of cigarette butts as well, unfortunately. But today, bottle caps, because I haven't given bottle caps enough uh, cleanup love in some time, and I'm sure that they're gonna be on this stretch. As I said, you know, any place like this that is having regular beach goers, day in and day out, now that we're in the summertime, you find so much other obvious stuff to get, like bottles and cans and uh, just bigger pieces of trash. I've been finding shoes and Lego toys, uh, everything you can imagine. Uh, but anyways, let's hike down. I got my bag, my picker, and uh, see how many bottle caps we can get in one hour. How many? I don't know exactly, but I would imagine, I'm gonna guess at least 100. I think this time of year is, is prime uh, fresh bottle cap picking season. So uh, let's take a walk, beautiful weather, and see what we can find. I look exhausted, by the way. It's probably because I am, because I'm in summer grading mode uh, or summer finals course grading mode. And uh, that means late nights grading and early nights, be early days beach cleaning for the simple reason that, as I said, if I tried to come back here in another few hours, which I might to do a swim, enjoy obviously the beautiful beach that I've been cleaning, as you can see. I don't know why I'm not showing you it. Um, what was I saying? Oh, early days to beach clean because as I mentioned, I tried to come yesterday and a beach clean was not happening. I mean, you could hike down far enough to more remote areas maybe to clean up, but that's something that I sometimes run into as an issue this time of year. It's like, if you're going around with a trash picker grabbing stuff, um, yeah, I have had people sort of be like, hey, that's my stuff. What are you doing, you insane looking man with a bag and trash picker? Um, so you get better at <laughs> kind of avoiding those situations. Um, you know, discerning that like, okay, this is something that somebody's still using, but if it's crowded enough, you know, it's kind of weird to be walking among beach loungers, uh, trying to decide what's garbage and what's not. So uh, yeah, now's the time. But unfortunately, like I said, I'm like pre-coffee right now, so. Thank you for joining me and sticking with me for all those reasons. I think we can do this though. Focus. Yeah, you can see here how caps like this, this one isn't too bad, but yeah, you can imagine that. It blends in really well with some of these shells, right? You sort of cover it up. It's uh, very, relatively speaking, incognito. So yeah, if you look at this long enough and you start to distinguish the subtleties, you know, the synthetic sort of opaqueness of this, I guess, I think you can get better at differentiating them among the shells, but it does take, take time. Um, and over time you, you do get better. So yeah, I'm not surprised that I'm finding a ton of bottle caps as I expected. Um, 
And yeah, really in these sort of uh, tide line markers, I guess, of high tides where stuff gets tangled up in. A lot of times I find uh, balloon string, fishing line, that sort of stuff too. But yeah, no surprise I'm finding a lot of bottle caps. Yeah, you can see, here's a fork. This is vintage summer trash. People come, they bring takeout or whatever, leave this behind. But again, also the fresh party stuff, such as uh, local beers. I don't know if I can show brand names. I don't care if I can or can't show brand names, whatever. Um, <laughs> so you're finding a lot of this stuff too, all in this Tideline readage, which again, it blends in really well. A lot of these shells, they're white, the bottle caps are white, or brown reeds, um, brown bottle caps that have degraded over time. I have a very strangely trained eye for trash at this point, so it's easier for me to notice, but I'll show you some close-ups where you can see exactly how well they blend in. And again, no surprise that this beach is relatively pretty clean in terms of big stuff, but this little stuff definitely overlooked, and it does add up, right? Maybe, I don't know, 100 bottle caps equal one bottle, 50 bottle caps equal one bottle worth of plastic. It all breaks down into microplastics and that winds up uh, in us, which we want to avoid. Yeah, this is a bit foreboding because I'm not really a morning person and uh, I already see a ton of cars back in the parking lot. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of early morning beach cleans this summer <laughs> just for the sake of uh, practicality. So I gotta get used to it, but you know, that's what happens when uh, you become a trashaholic. You gotta pay the price. So I'm about halfway through an, uh, a half an hour in to my hour challenge, and I think I'm gonna definitely break my 100 bottle cap goal. By how many, that remains to be seen, but yeah, this is a good picking so far. Unfortunately, yet fortunately, right? Because we are getting this stuff out and away from uh, our local ocean. I thought that was a cap at first, but I think it's actually some sort of nutshell. It looks like a mini coconut shell. We might be going nuts out here. No idea what this is doing out here, but this looks like a milk jug cap. So uh, that's weird, but it's a bottle cap, so we'll take it. What do we got here? You've got great taste. That's cute. Thank you, though. A classic sports drink cap. Always good to get. It's a lot of plastic in there. Like, just look at how hard this one is until you zoom in to spot, right? That is just sneaky, sneaky clear cap. I don't know if they get easier to find as they get dirty, but this one I just spotted. Oh, look at this one. This is another one. Look at how much that blends in with these shells. That's <laughs> crazy. Gotta have that trash eye, kids. You know, I often talk about how a lot of the trash you find, it's not necessarily left behind by people littering. Um, you know, oftentimes it's runoff from street side pollution and that sort of thing but um yeah in this case a lot of these bottle caps are originating at the beach as i said summertime partying comes with its uh, trash woes um so yeah definitely something to think about i don't know let's keep going well here's a really good one um, I think this is a cap to like a bug spray and that technically is a bottle and this is a cap for it. So when I was going into this, I was thinking drink caps, basically water bottles, maybe beer bottles, but yeah, um, I wasn't expecting milk jugs and 
bug spray caps, now that I think about it, makes a lot of sense this time of year. Um, so no wonder this is really sort of bolstering my tally, my total for just an hour cleanup because you have all these additional summertime bottle caps that I might not normally find in the winter. So that's interesting too, thinking about the seasonal waves of different types of pollution and obviously here specifically ocean plastic pollution mostly. Uh, so good to get. Yeah, see ice bags like this are such good summer sign in terms of summertime partying. And this is actually, you could use this as a makeshift uh, bottle bag or uh, bottle cap cleanup bag. So I might do that too. Make trash out of trash. Uh, let's cut through ocean plastic pollution together. I have nothing but puns to explain this one. That's not the kind of cap we want. It's like a needle cap, I think. Uh, so be careful out there. Fire pit remains classic, classic summer sign. Alright, well, I'm about at the hour mark, and more importantly, I'm on a beautiful stretch of unpeopled beach. Not that I'm trying to avoid them, but uh, again, it's hard to record when you're sitting in people's beach <laughs> chill spot. So I'm going to count up how many bottle caps I have now. I'll add to the total any more that I find on my way back to the parking lot, which is just a couple minutes, more minutes hike. Um, but let's uh, dump them out, add them up, and see how many we got. I think it's going to be at least 100. But uh, how many exactly? Let the counting begin. Wow, so that is a pretty intense tally. I counted 106, which means I think I'm getting a little too good at this. <laughs> knowing or feeling that I have at least a hundred, probably more. Um, and like I said, I'll add the total total on my way back because I have to stop to film this. Uh, so I had a few minutes left on my clock and on my way back to the parking lot. Any more I'll find I'll add to this total. So I would imagine it'll be a few more than that 106 total. But again, that's pretty crazy for just an hour long hike. And as I was saying earlier in the video, you know, that amount of bottle caps and they're all different shapes, different sizes, but most of it's plastic. I mean, some of them are metal uh, bottle caps from beer bottles, that sort of thing, but certainly at least the plastic ones, those break up over time and uh, they just become more microplastics, as you can see here. This is, uh, I don't know, maybe something to like a Pringle lid, whereas this is just your standard bottle cap. But again, with weather over time, it's becoming ocean plastic pollution and microplastics. And just a few others I noticed, obviously I pointed out a lot of them such as the bug spray caps, the milk jug caps. Milk jug caps, I mean, these might be also from larger uh, water containers, I realized. This is actually probably what it is. Uh, so again, that's something that could have been generated at the beach as well. Somebody has a gallon jug or something for whatever reason. So not too surprising to find that. But again, other things that remind me of the fact that we're in summer and there's summertime trash like this cap, which I don't know if I would call it a bottle cap, this deodorant cap, because that's what it is. Um, but that's a bottle of sorts. It holds deodorizer, right? So I'm going to count that. And uh, again, it's a lot of plastic. Sort of the point of all of this is that as this breaks down and loses its utility, I can't break it just yet, but it will eventually. Um, it's just, again, getting seeping into these marine environments. I see so many people fishing here at this time of day. And um, yeah, I mean, what winds up on your beach ends up in your fish, ends up in what you eat so that's none too good we really don't even know the full term long-term consequences of plastic um, pollution inside marine mammals and marine animals in general and then us ultimately so uh, I think that's a big point here is just to be aware of some of this stuff and try to learn more try to you know think more about it along those lines um, I'm constantly learning more I'm actually interviewing for my education podcast a former student of mine next week who's a marine biologist. So 
I, I love teaching for that reason because I get to be in touch and contact with you know people who are interested in this stuff and know a heck of a lot more than I do and that's sort of the point as well I'm a, a professor but I'm a, I'm a I'm an author so that's part of your job as an author is to constantly be learning more and uh, I do you know I, I was surprised by some of these pieces I found so anyways I could ramble on about this all day uh, but I won't because I need coffee and as I said earlier as well it's grading season for a summer course so I gotta go do that <laughs> unfortunately or fortunately and uh, the beach is filling up uh, I, I want to see what that event is going on there it feels like there's events every day which again if it's a beach clean event that's great um, whether or not it is though more people equal more trash so I'll have more adventures to come certainly I'm gonna be back here early one morning to do a cigarette butt beach clean challenge because I almost feel bad not picking up those I just don't have the time but there's a ton of those too and that's not surprising that's something that I would imagine also gets normally overlooked by um, larger beach cleanups where people are, are just picking up the bigger pieces like I said and as I said as well you know that's uh, cigarette butts are probably from people littering them on the beach but they're also from you see them in parking lots a lot if there's a big enough rainstorm which there will be probably this weekend fourth of July weekend I guess um, you're gonna get stuff washed down from the parking lots too so anyways thanks for joining me on this demented adventure if you like these sorts of demented and uh, adventures pre-coffee adventures please there's a subscribe button, share this with people, comment, let me know what you find. Let me know if you do your own bottle cap beach clean challenge, how many you can find in an hour. I know some of my Instagram followers have done that. Uh, there's a couple I'm gonna tag in some of my posts, so that's always really cool to see too. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think and uh, we'll be back soon with another trashy adventure. So until then, uh, stay safe out there, be well, clean well, and hope to see you on the beach.